We are in the train to go to Milan. We took the first class because we have a lot of luggage and we second class has a lot of people and people more people means more luggage, more space for us. So we took the first class. There's not a lot of luggage here. So we have a lot of space. We are in Romo Milan. <sighs> I just climbed up the stairs, I'm <laughs> running out of breath. It's really pretty here. To be honest, it looks like any other cities in Europe. But yeah. Kind of looks like Barcelona. Right? You guys, this place is gorgeous. Look at the flooring. Yeah, you can see shopping area in Milan. And me looking like an Italian. <laughs> we are going to Fidenza. <laughs> Hmm? You guys, we just reached Fidenza Just now when we wanted to go in the taxi The taxi driver asked us to wait outside He proceeded to put on his N95 mask and came out with hand sanitizers and sprayed on our hands I mean, I, I wasn't offended or anything I was just... I am kind of glad that he did that because At least he's being cautious about the surroundings and At least the, we know that the previous customers went through that means that they are clean too i guess yeah and yeah the virus is bad here in italy but yeah we don't have the virus we are fine and yeah we're gonna enjoy our time here yay such a pretty toilet so guys story time we went to fidenza for milano central to go to the factory outlet there uh, they, they have a bunch of things on sale there so we have to stop by and see what they have okay, Our hotel is right opposite the Milano Central Station So we took the train to Fidenza for about one hour and a half uh, It was a straight train so we went there thinking that we would go back the same way Straight to Milano Central but when we reached the Fidenza Station to go back home they cancelled our train all trains to milano central were cancelled all of them we waited at fidenza uh, train station for an hour took the train to piacenza for about 20 minutes then when we reached there we were told that well, we will have a straight bus to milan but apparently not we had to take a bus to lido we, i don't even know all these places like i've never heard of them huh Lodi. Lodi. It's not even Lido, it's Lodi, okay? And we thought it would stop at Milano Central, but nope. It stopped at Milano Republica. So we had to tra take the metro to uh, Milano Central. We were supposed to reach Milano Central at 5.30, but now... Eh, no, 6.30. 6.30, yeah. And now the time is 8.30. Two hours, okay? We had to go through all of that. I think, right, I think... They say that it was some traffic... Uh, problem is I think it's about the um, coronavirus lah I think I don't know we're supposed to have fun man so it's kind of bad I hope that we'll stay safe everyone stay safe okay we are we are trying to we're not gonna go out much because we want to stay healthy people think that we are Latinas or Filipinos do they don't know that we are from Singapore we were not discriminated as much People don't think that we are Asian, so we didn't get the racism that much. But people do, do do this when they go in the train, when they see us. There was like one or two people who did that. We were supposed to go to Florence and Pisa tomorrow. We hesitated to buy the ticket because it was kind of pricey. So now that we are 100% sure that traveling from other places to Milan is very hard, we are gonna cancel our trip. Thank God we didn't buy uh, the tickets. We are just gonna stay in Milan until the 28th. Today is the 24th. We are flying off to Singapore on the 28th. And I can't wait to go back home to Singapore, to be honest. I can, I kinda, I'm kind of glad that the last country that we go to, right, is not as great as other countries because if it's way better than other countries, I will feel so depressed going back to Singapore. But now I'm actually homesick. I heard that the supermarkets in Milan 
are empty but this one is not we are lucky we are buying a uh, fabric for raya but i'm not going to show you what we bought because later you'll copy <laughs> We just came back from Slam Jam and I got myself WTAPS t shirt because Namju. <laughs> There's so many pigeons are freaking out. They were following me just now. <laughs> Can you believe that this is Zara? Look at that. Oh my god. This is Zara guys, like the Zara you see at Ion. yes this is it. <laughs> Milano Central is so quiet you guys. This is our hotel by the way. This is not the entrance, this is just the side entrance. That's place to hang out. Um, we are cutting to this shot because we are tired. We went out at, what time kita keluar? 10 maybe? Yeah. 11. 11 and it's 5 now. Oh, I didn't see the step there. <laughs> My shirt is kind of makeup. This why you don't buy. I don't like white shirt or white shoes, especially because I'm bad. So, you guys, we are supposed to go Florence and Pisa today, but since the coronavirus is bad, we don't want to risk it. But yeah, I bought a bunch of things. I bought a bunch of things, I think. Oh, yeah, my what? W caps. I don't even know if I'm saying it, uh, pronounce it correctly. But. Yay! Oh, my sister got her coffee. Mmm, tiny. How does the coffee taste? Good. Finally got my bag. I've been trying to find this bag in Singapore, Paris, Barcelona. And the other store in um, Milan, and I finally got it. By the way, I'm gonna put on a lipstick that I bought from Milan. It's called Kiko. It's similar to Max World. I'm gonna put it on. It's only five euro. <laughs> I might buy more. Right, this is the last full day in Europe and in Milan. I did a bunch of films, eh? Wang do it, they believe camera. We don't even take pictures of scenery or anything. At the end of the day, we use our phone. So, yeah, shout out to iPhone. So, you can just go. Oh, thank you. I thought you I need to paint the picture. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think this is my first time doing my outfit every day. Oh yeah, we should do it every day, yeah. Like yeah, but Lizzie. This. So my uh, coat is from Zara Spain, and this tube is from Zara Milan. It was five euro, and this is Zara Singapore. My shoes are Balenciaga. My socks are from. Uh, my socks are from. $1. And my bag is from Celine. Okay, let's go out and find food. You guys, from what I heard, this is the quietest Milan has ever been. Look at Duomo. It was like full the other day when we came, the first day. But now look at the people. There's no one. The streets is almost empty. There's more pigeons than people. <laughs> like, for real. And the pigeons here are so fat compared to in Singapore. Sorry for slut shaming you. Slut shaming <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, look at the birds. They are, oh my god, here, oh my god. Wait, wait, I show you. Guys, there's so many pigeons. Singapore don't even have this much birds eh. There you. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> oh, coming for me. I'm running away. <laughs> I'm scared. Don't come at me. <laughs> <laughs> I was crying. What's the truck? What's the truck? What's the truck? Ah, so cool. By the way, what's the truck? Oh, yeah, I already show you my outfit. 
We are in a makeup store and they're customizing uh, the lip kit, lipstick case. So cool. Cool, right? I did my customization already. Yeah, it's so good. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do a room tour. I'll show you a little bit of my room. It's messy. So when you go in, there's the cabinet. Space for your luggage. And there's the bed. This is a sofa bed. And the toilet. It's kind of fancy. It has red light. There's a heater actually. And there's the shower. Yeah. Nothing much. Ordered delivery. We've ordered delivery for about five times and they gave me like uh, two 10 euro vouchers. So that's a good deal. Food are expensive here. Everywhere is expensive. The most expensive place is actually Lucent, Swiss. But you know, you gotta eat. So you gotta do what you gotta do. I ordered seafood tacos. Not sure if this is mine. Oh yeah, it is. <gasps> seafood taco. There's no pork in this restaurant. Hey, okay, one thing is that it's very hard for us Muslims to find food. It's very hard to find halal food or restaurants without pork. So, yeah. We've been eating Indian food a lot because Indian food are mostly halal. And they don't have pork, so yeah. Thai food don't have, some of Thai restaurants don't have pork too. But we can't find a Thai restaurant without pork in um, Milan. We found one in Paris. I had the best wonton prawn ever. And found one in Lucent. Anyway, I'm gonna eat. So, and I'm gonna do a haul when I go back to Singapore. So yeah. Please look forward to that if you are watching, if you are interested in my life. <laughs> okay, let's eat people! Packing situation. We have too much things to pack. You know what? I'm gonna leave the vlog here. Thank you for watching all of my Europe vlogs. <laughs> Going home tomorrow. I don't want to vlog that because... Um, I don't want to vlog that because I'll be carrying a lot of stuff and it will be stressful so I won't be wearing makeup also so yeah <coughs> Goodbye everyone, thank you for watching